So Steve uh, has a couple questions for us. When do I do reverse grip relative to close grip? I'm a power lifter and a strong man, uh, and he's been doing this for a few years now, uh, and he always has a belt on all the time. Uh, why do I hate the belt? Judo or wrestling? Neither. They're both uh, incredible. I Do you feel that full body workouts are good enough if I don't have any real weights like a barbell? I only resistance bands, dumbbells, and kettlebells. So, so um, right now is any workout, I think is a basic question um, relative to no workout. I think something is better than nothing, guys. Um, again, I, I'm always going to say nutrition first. If your nutrition is going great, then I'm fine with these moderate workouts with the with the bands and stuff, and that's what we put on the Titan meal plan. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, uh, we are uh, a body weight workout with some ropes, uh, some uh, bands, some dumbbells, and some workout where you don't even have any equipment. That so doesn't mean that you have to be full body. Yeah, I guess that's yeah, that's a good point. Good point. He says uh, is full body. I wouldn't do full body. I would focus on body part. I'd probably do two body parts a day and then just work out maybe six days a week is what I would do. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. Again, irrelevant if you're not eating right. All right. Hopefully everybody understands that. And for everybody that's never followed me or understood my principles of training, um, you can actually destroy your body if you're working out with a bad nutrition plan. So try to try to be smart about this and try to try to get the nutrition on point. And again, that's why, uh, again, I'm going to love working with you guys that are doing this and, and to see the changes. If you guys saw last year's changes on the uh, the 90 day transformation, the 12 week transformation, ugh, proud of you guys for everybody that did that, except for Steve Pack, not proud of him. So Steve uh, has a couple questions for us. When do I do reverse grip relative to close grip? I will but they're both tricep exercises first off um the weaker of the two for me is close grip uh relative to uh reverse grip um because with close grip my elbows will only come in a certain range with reverse grip i am forced to pull those elbows in further which is even better for me, and it really tears up the tricep so if my chest is not sore I will purposely do close grip, the weaker of the two. If my chest is sore, I take no chest development uh, or there's no no firing of the chest when I do reverse grip. So I'll do the reverse grip if my chest is sore. And one of the biggest things is um, us doing two workouts today right now, uh, body is sore. And you don't really want to train your body is sore. Now, with that being said, do I do it? I love training, so yes, I do. Um, but again, uh, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, I try to train things that are not sore uh, and wait until everything else recovers. Uh, but the second thing Steve asked, and if you guys have been watching my YouTube videos, I am doing a body part a day for 90 days. And that body part will be a legging or a body part that I want to enhance. Um, and, and Steve and some others asked, can they join me on this venture? That is what it is for. It is for everybody that has a legging body part that would like to stimulate it the next 90 days and join us with the Titan Challenge over these 90 days and do that body part every day. So what we're doing is this. Um, we are doing 400 abs a night. We're doing 100 supermans. So it's basically laying on your stomach and you just kind of raise your, your legs up and your upper body up but by contracting your lower back. So let's superset those. Um, and, and we incorporated in some rear delts and some shrugs. And we're doing five sets, 20 reps. Now, you don't have to do the exact same. You can pick whatever you want to do. Let's say you've got to tighten up the booty. Well, then my suggestion is every day do some walking lunges um, and some squats. If it's arms that you want to do, uh, which we have uh, two people with arms, uh, Heath Evans, who I train with a lot, is doing arms every single day. And so he'll do a, um, 
a uh, straight bar curl and tricep pushdowns every single day. So it's a uh, delayed stimulation of overtraining, which is a great way to um, stimulate those muscles that uh, you want to get better. So have fun with this. Uh, this will be fun for us to do. And you guys just jump in with me as well as we're doing this. And if you are dieting, um, you can still do it. All right. I am dieting down uh, slowly, slowly um, again. So jump on in with us. So the question was about um, some football players. We had about 12 football players here and they're dropping weight. Here's the one thing. They're all going to drop weight during uh, training um, just because of the amount of cardio you're having them do. So, And they're also at that age where I would raise everybody's calories at this time. Even the four kids um, that you didn't raise, I would raise those calories up, mostly because they're, they're maintaining it, which means um, – they're still dropping it and they're getting stronger. So they're building muscle. So just because their body weight didn't change, the, the percentage did. So I would raise it up too. Again, for you guys that uh, have a significant other um, that doesn't train or, or, or scared of weightlifting, kind of let them see Mona and understand that how she trains is uh, the same. She trains us guys. Um, and the way I train isn't for uh, just because I won the universe or our powerlifting meets and stuff. It's not for that. It is for the capability of getting in shape the smartest way um, and keeping what you get in shape with. That's the ultimate goal of my method and my power bodybuilding, to make your body superhuman. Um, that way you can get older uh, and uh, age gracefully and continue to kick butt no matter what age you are. So hopefully you guys understand that. Right. Did somebody ask that? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's mobile. Yeah, the meal plan is on the phone. Yeah, it's an app. But it's also on the desktop. It is on the desktop. It's, it's everywhere. everywhere. It's everywhere. And that's the great thing about the meal plan. It works on everything. It's everywhere. Um, there's nowhere you can't be without that bad boy. Judo or wrestling? Neither. They're both uh, incredible. Uh, and then my take would be uh, what we're going to do with Titan is we're going to start him with Judo so he learns to fall at a young, young, young age. Um, but then you got to get the, uh, the wrestling because, uh, the one thing that I love about judo is being able to manipulate the other person's body. But with wrestling, I need you to, I, I need the ability to just grab that human toss. Um, so it, it's a combination of both. They're both great and both have their different aspects of it. Oh, here's a great question. I think we've gone over this a lot, but I'll go over this again for you guys. So someone here says, Hey, uh, I'm a power lifter and a strong man, uh, and he's been doing this for a few years now, uh, and he always has a belt on all the time. Uh, why do I hate the belt? Well, first off, I don't hate the belt. I, I love the belt, and I think the belt is a great support exercise. And if you're going to compete, wear a belt. What I do say, and I'll repeatedly say, is a belt band-aid it is a crutch it is a support system and if you are always training in a support system you are not developing the entire body so there should be a huge portion of time a huge portion of time mostly six months out of the year if not longer that you do not wear a belt to develop understand that powerlifting is a portion of the back strongman is all lower back the positions you are put in are such awkward positions for a strong man. To put, pick up the balls, you're actually leaning straight over and lifting it up onto your knees. Straight over, and then picking the big medicine balls up, um, the, the stones. So to train always with a belt, understand that you're supporting yourself. And, and, and don't do this. Well, it keeps my back safe. No, no, it doesn't. It helps you. But it doesn't keep it safe. I've seen guys squat with belts on, and they still blow their, blow their backs out. So that's not the truth. The truth is, and my principles is, get rid of the knee reps. Get rid of the belt. During a portion of your training, get as strong as you possibly can, and then incorporate that stuff in before the stuff. Remember, I used to wear equipment when I power lifted. Um, but then I got rid of it when I realized that it doesn't help in the rest of my journey, I would say. So you're not going to be a power lifter and strong man 24-7, and I would rather not have a weak back, all right? Um, I have a couple power lifters, um, and I always in the past trained with power lifters, um, the greatest in the world. 
and they didn't train with equipment all the time. So again, remove the equipment and go back to it when you're getting ready for a meet.